In a beautiful town about 40 miles outside Flint, there is a frightening place. And every Halloween season, people just flock there. Tonight in Michigan Now's cautiously brave Stella Daskalakis dares to travel to this well-known haunt. There are some scary things going on in this place. St. Charles Village of the Living Dead. Enter at your own risk. Once inside, be prepared for the spooky unknown. New this year is the last ride in a coffin, of course. Let's go! The volunteer ghouls, goblins, witch doctors, and other creatures have been taking up space in these halls for years. And lots of humans keep coming back for more scares. How people get the thrill from going to Cedar Point or Michigan's Adventures to get that thrill when you're 100 feet in the air and you do a straight drop. It's coming in here and not knowing what's around the next corner. Pure chaos could be impatiently waiting for you. You walk in there and it is zero to 100 real quick and they're in your face. They're yelling at you, they're making noise. When the mighty and even the faint at heart make it through every Halloween haunt in this St. Charles dark maze, they leave frightened yet fulfilled. We keep opening and people keep coming and we try to do better every single year and we do it because we love it. Because let's face it, some people just want to be spooked. Oh my goodness, I made it out of there safely. This place is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and also Halloween. And on Sundays, it's blackout night. And you get a flashlight, and that flashlight has a mind of its own. In St. Charles, Michigan, Stella Daskalakis, Mid Michigan Now. Admission is uh, 15 bucks for that haunted house or two for 25. Some money raised covers the operational cost, but most is donated to schools, fire departments, and nonprofits in the community.